descend from the clouds, down past the volcanic Andes Mountains, to the mouth of the Amazon River and through lush rainforests. You are entering a country of geographical extremes, a home of record rainfall and arid deserts, with beaches on both the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, and where the Sierra Nevada mountains reach to the sky. You have landed in Colombia, the jewel of South America. It is a land of natural beauty and breathtaking landmarks. Twice the size of France with only half the population and is home to one third of the world's species of birds. It is also the second largest producer of the world's cut flowers. It is here in Colombia where the Amazon rainforest begins and mystery is born in a land that teems with geographical, cultural, and agricultural diversity. It is in this country of over 36 million people, with its 5,000 years of ancestral history, that perfection brews, and where nature and man blend to create the greatest diversity of quality coffees on the planet. Join us as we introduce you to Colombia's dedicated cafeteros, a group of over 500,000 farmers who handcraft high-quality specialty coffees on their family-owned plantations. You will travel into diverse ecotopos, Colombia's widely varied agrological and microclimatic growing conditions, and witness coffee tradition at its very root. And finally, you will see how these growers have joined together in a federation to create good lives for their families, while nurturing the Colombian coffee beans that provide them their livelihood. Contrary to popular belief, Colombian coffee is not mass-produced on giant commercial plantations. The average plantation here is less than four acres. So coffee becomes very much a family business and crops receive a personal touch. Coffee trees in Colombia are carefully nurtured by more than 500,000 independent cafeteros and their families. Coffee is vital to the economy of more than half the communities across Colombia. Therefore, it is no surprise to find it woven into its cultural fabric and traditions. Cafeteros have a history with their land. Harvesting is done in very much the same way today as in the past. Most of the machinery cafeteros use is hand-cranked and mule-drawn and uniquely suited to tackle Colombia's rugged terrain. The cafeteros are dedicated to the entire coffee-growing process, diligently returning to each coffee tree up to eight times to check for ripeness until all its beans are harvested. In Colombia, growers are more concerned with quality than quantity. In fact, each plantation produces an average of only 21 60 kilo bags per year. With a range of climatic conditions, coffee is harvested in Colombia all year round. Its main harvest is between October and January, and a second, smaller harvest in April and May. When all is said and done, Cafeteros collectively produce about 12 million bags of delicious coffee every year. This results in self-sustaining farms, cooperative mills, strong family structure, and superb tasting coffee. It's no wonder that in a country the size of Colombia, with such an incredible variety of climate and growing conditions, you find tremendous potential for specialty coffees with unique nuances and cup profiles. In 16 coffee-producing provinces, 82 agrological microclimates, or ecotopos, have been identified. An ecotopo is a set of geographic characteristics distinguished by unique soil, and varied altitude and climate. 
Now, let's visit four of the 16 provinces of Colombia. The mountain ranges of the Sierra Nevada, adjacent to the Caribbean Sea, reach as high as 19,000 feet. Coffee here, unlike most of the country, has only one harvest between November and January. The historic region of Magdalena is home to the famed Indian Lost City. Here you will also find Santa Marta, the oldest city in the Americas. This territory's slopes once housed the Tyrona Indians, but it is now home to the Kogi Indians, known as the Brothers of Humanity. This tribe lives in an environment virtually untouched by the modern world. Utilizing water from the melting snow caps of the Sierras for processing, coffee in this area is harvested every winter from beans grown between 2,600 and 4,400 feet above sea level. From the lost city, we travel 650 miles south to the province of Huila, with an entirely different set of growing conditions and crop cycles. The giant monolithic statues of the San Augustine ruins date back to 3300 BC and are the only reminder of a culture that had long disappeared by the time the Spanish conquistadors had come to Colombia. In Santander, where the city of Bucaramanga is located, Yet another example of Colombia's climatic and agrological diversity can be found. Here, coffee beans are uniquely shaded by Spanish tree moss. Far from being home to century-old ruins, Santander is home to advanced horticultural experimentation. It is here that the conditions are perfect for the development of new cultivation methods and crop mixes that help protect the environment. On the Pacific, near the rainforests, is the province of Cauca, where the city of Popayan lies. It is home to one of Colombia's highest coffee crops, growing at altitudes between 4,200 and 5,700 feet. The province houses the Guambiano Indians, the land's original inhabitants. They harvest their special coffee crop in the spring, between April and June. But Colombia's geographical variety cannot be separated from its cultural heritage. It is a country marked by a diversity of people. In everything from its universities and shining Gothic cathedrals to its family-run farms, Colombia's diversity is reflected in a variety of exotic coffees grown in different areas by different communities. With a commitment to quality, the National Federation of Coffee Growers of Colombia was formed in 1927 to ensure the consistency of Colombian coffee and to protect the growers' ability to independently grow and market their unique crops. Today, more than 500,000 Colombian coffee growers belong to the Federation. This Federation like the Republic of Colombia itself, is a working democracy. Over two-thirds of the members actively participate in their coffee-growing region's vote, electing their representatives to the various governing bodies. Thanks to the Federation, growers are able to produce a consistent crop while protecting themselves against the market's price fluctuations. The Federation also assures that coffee remains as much an art as it does an industry. Quality control begins with the agronomist. These traveling experts set up both mobile and permanent schools, where they teach the latest coffee growing technology to growers in even the most remote locations of Colombia. The Federation also funds Seni Cafe a cutting-edge center where coffee is tested, monitored, and researched. 
Colombia is leaping ahead in a world where coffee drinkers have reached new levels of sophistication. Farmers and cuppers at the Federation envision a day when coffee lovers are able to distinguish between exotic Colombian coffees from different ecotopos in much the same way as wine connoisseurs compare wines from different regions of France. Coffee gives back to its people, not just in incredible taste, but through social and health services that offer 180 hospitals and 200 rural health centers. Coffee-funded programs have built over 6,000 schools, where over 360,000 children are being educated. Now, nearly 80% of homes in coffee-growing areas have access to schools. The result? High literacy rates and better educated farmers, who in turn produce better coffee. The improvements backed by the Federation are staggering. More than 5,000 aqueducts benefiting over a million and a half people. More than 8,000 miles of roadways. Over 2,600 bridges. All enhancing the quality of life. All Colombian coffee is fairly traded and growers receive a guaranteed price when meeting the quality standard. Woven into the social, environmental and human fabric of Colombia is a love and flair for coffee. The result of the evolution of an agricultural art form. No country with such a varied history, geography and people has become so united as a result of a single crop. Because of the shade and rich vegetation, birds and other wildlife thrive here. Thank you for joining us on our journey through a majestic land nurtured by tradition and deep-rooted pride. We invite you to treasure the magic brewed into every single bean of 100% Colombian coffee. The richest coffee in the world.